Hello everyone, Foxy Fern here and welcome back to another day of Cook, Serve, Delicious. Let's see what we have going on here. More than $500 in income today, excluding tips. There's just no way. All right, we're gonna accept your bet and we're gonna make sure to put some good money-making things on the menu. So if we use this dollar sign here, let's take off coffee and ice cream because they don't really make us all that much money. How about steak and pasta and instead of wine, since we have beer, let's put lasagna on there. And I did get an upgrade to the lasagna, so we now have a vegetarian recipe. Also, things I got were, uh, we have the daily special now which we can choose whatever we want to be our daily special and that'll give us some extra buzz for the day. And also to go carry out service, which you you can see here that certain things have carry out symbol on them like the salad and the pasta is all we have for today. And we'll get a buzz for however many of those items we have on our menu. So let's go ahead and see if we can make $500 in income Got a pretty good amount of buzz for the start of the day. It's not bad at all. Never really known anybody to like eating pasta at 9 a.m. in the morning, but I know I do have a coworker at work that will eat a cup of noodles for breakfast sometimes. Maybe just because it's there. So the vegetable lasagna is just like the meat, except for instead of meat, we put the vegetable, but it is still two layers of vegetable and then a layer of the regular. Seasoned, juicy, and citrus. Had to remember what my key bindings were there. Oh, and look at our toilet. It's so beautiful and clean. The upgraded toilet apparently is also self cleaning, but not self flushing. I mean, I guess we can't get automatic toilets in a restaurant. Or maybe people are just clogging them. Oh yes, and we have an upgrade for our soup. Having trouble talking and thinking at the same time. So our soup added some more ingredients. The most confusing one to me being cabbage, which is the key binding of L, but I don't know, it feels pretty good for my hands, so I'm just gonna leave it like it is. I also don't have any ideas for what else cabbage should be. Maybe G. I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I think I got it. Chicken and bacon. I gotta remember, I don't necessarily have to be worried about getting a perfect day. We just need $500 of income which can still happen even if I don't get a bunch of perfect orders. Onion. All right. On a roll today. Ooh, $8 tip. Thank you very much. Ah, a moment of relaxation. I can tell you this. I'm never going to be a restaurant owner because this is extremely stressful. But it's so fun and, and addicting at the same time. I can't stop playing it. The number of people I've tried to get interested in this game and they're like, oh, that just sounds too stressful and not fun at all. But I think I get some sort of thrill out of playing a game that requires some, some sense of skill and reflexes and, and fast thinking. And fast reading, too, because, I don't know, maybe there's some people that play this game and memorize the recipe cards. I can do that for a few of the foods, but most of the time I'm actually just reading what the ingredients are supposed to be for everything. The lasagna is one where I don't read the ingredients because it's pretty simple and straightforward. But salads, there's so many recipes that it's hard for me to memorize all those. It's kind of funny, though. 
It's a little bit like uh, when I went through my training to work at Domino's and they gave us this book with all of their pizza combinations and the sandwiches and everything. And I had to memorize all of it. And like, I would go home after my eight hours of training and I would have to do homework and then come to work the next day and take a quiz to see if I had memorized everything. Which, really when you think about it, was kind of dumb because I was a delivery cyclist and I think I made food for like the first week or two that I was on the job. But then again, I did work in the busiest celery cabbage peppers. I did work in the busiest restaurant in all of Washington, so perhaps other Domino's restaurants have are slow enough that their drivers can make food too. But most of the time, the people that were working in-house were just like, No, get out of my way, you're too slow. We need to get this ASAP. Not to mention, there'd usually be a ton of deliveries ready to go anyway, and I wouldn't even have time to think about helping make food. What do we get? Pick by lost over there. CSD, you complete me. Oh, that is so true. I agree, lost over there. Or whatever your name was. There's your kid's delight. You know, it's funny that we have a kid's recipe for a salad, and I believe there's like a kid's pancake menu item, and maybe the ice cream and you never even actually see any kids come into this restaurant. Maybe in Cook Serve Delicious 2, they'll have children. I mean, there's a number of times where I want to go into a restaurant and order something off the children's menu, but they're like, no, you have to be this age to, to order this. But I'm like, well, I'm not all that hungry, and I just want to get something small. But I guess it's because the kids' menu items are such a deal that they want to make a bigger profit off of the adult things. Like beer! Woohoo! Perfect day! Alright, look, we got our two-star restaurant! Hooray! Oh, it's actually starting to look pretty nice! Yay, oh my goodness, so much mail. Junk mail with a cute little doodle on it though. Yay, we won the bet. We got a perfect day. And okay, we got some more bets available. Specialty food and upgrades. Oh, and now we can't do things like pretzels and corn dogs. And now we have six prep stations and we will be getting a buzz, a bonus buzz for having a new restaurant. So let's see what our bets are. Okay, soup and beer. 17 combos, yeah, we can totally do that. Definitely. So make sure, okay, yeah, those are both already on there. Now, one thing about the daily special is you get more buzz for changing it up. So right now we have 65% buzz, and if I just simply do this, we get another 10%. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane though. Do I wanna buy another food too, or an upgrade? Um, you know what, we're gonna wait on the specialty foods because this is gonna be pretty insane with this amount of buzz. And yeah, we don't wanna just completely fail on our new, on our new restaurant day. So let's buy Let's get some new fish. That's an easy one to upgrade. And how about another salad? So we got oil and vinegar. So throw our fish on there. And steak actually, yeah. I think this looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, 80% buzz. This is gonna be absolutely insane. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna be able to get 17 perfect combos with this hive of buzz. Oh my goodness. Here we go. So far, so good. Uh-oh. 
All right. Oh, I already messed up. Oh, can I can I just pull the chicken off there? No. Okay. All right. Guys, it already feels like rush hour. This is a bad sign. Well, the good news is we can't have more than six things up at once, so perhaps we'll be okay. Oh, I forgot to mention I also bought the air conditioning, so people will be more patient with us. The crazy thing is about this too, when you have this high of a buzz and you serve a greater amount of perfect orders, then that's just gonna keep on creating a lot of buzz for you because it increases for the amount of perfect orders that you have every day. Ooh, look at that fancy fish, yeah. Oh gosh. Fish is fast, season, juice, okay. We're doing all right. All right, we at least, we at least got our goal of 17 combos. So, can relax a little bit. I mean, not really, because I always expect to get a perfect day. Every single day, there is no exception. That's how you strive to be great. Things are getting crazy. Oh my goodness. Celery. Oh, I don't know which came first. Huh. Oh dear. Red meatball, chicken, baked pet. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's flush the toilet and throw some pasta on there. And there we go. I think I was holding my breath during that entire rush hour, minus the exhaling that I was doing for talking. I just didn't actually take another breath. All right, we're doing well. I already messed it up, so we're not gonna get a perfect day, but that's okay. Kind of glad we haven't gotten our salads today with the new recipe cards. And if you hadn't already noticed the fish, the fish and the chicken will always be upgraded without like additional recipe cards. Although I think later on, ugh. I think later on the fish will have an option of lemons. But never any like tartar sauces or anything like that. Ooh, I almost put celery in there instead of cabbage. Dishes, wash them up real fast. Onion, bacon, mushroom. Okay, we got this. Oh no! Oh, I hit the wrong button and the pasta wasn't cooked all the way, which is really terrible. I hate having undercooked pasta or rice. It's disgusting. It's like, oh, hey, I gotta chew my food. I know, chewing my food, that's terrible, huh? I like to just put it all in a blender. No effort exerted. That's a lie. That would be disgusting. Although I do know some people that have been drinking these weird shake things lately. I don't remember what they're called off the top of my head. Please let me know if you do. But it's like these protein shakes that programmers seem to like. And they're advertised to programmers, at least out here, because they don't have time to eat. 
Therefore, we must e eat everything in liquid form and get all of our nutrients by drinking things. Eating is for suckers. I, I, I could never do that. I like eating food so much. In fact, I need to start cooking more. I have my own kitchen now that I'm in my new place. Yay! So I need to start taking advantage of it. I also really like to bake bread and I haven't baked bread all that much in a long time because, I don't know, just when you share a kitchen with other people, you're less likely to do that kind of stuff. At least I am. Because you gotta plan ahead of time, sort of. And you gotta let things rise. And then you have to bake at a certain time, and it kind of sucks when you have a roommate that's trying to use the kitchen at the same time as you. So, no more of that! Yay! Oh boy, it's closing time already, huh? Closing time! Yeah, I went there, sorry. That's the thing, when we're this busy, I don't ever have time to look at the clock. So I don't even know when the day is over. Kind of like in real life. That happens a lot. Oh no, and I messed up one of my last orders of the day. That's terrible. I was so close. Alrighty, well we still got 74 perfect combos or perfect orders for the day. That's pretty good. 37% positive buzz. Not bad, not bad. All right, what do we got? Another 20 days of service, of course. 18 perfect combo in five separate days. Six... Wait, did we already complete two days of service with this restaurant? I don't think we did. That's, that's weird. I'm bugged out. Upgrade six more of your foods. Pass three safety inspections and complete all catering services. All right. Shouldn't be anything too bad. Okay, avoid cows today. Good to know. There we go. Got some extra money and we won. Oh wait, no, we need to accept Crazy Dave's bet. Okay, well, we'll accept that. But I am gonna go ahead and stop the video here. Thanks a lot for joining me and hope to see you next time.